Hi everyone, today the topic is Chemical Engineering Thermodynamics Basic Concepts Part 2. So first one is state of the system. A system is said to be in a definite state when its macroscopic properties have definite values. So when the macroscopic properties have definite values, then we can say that system is in a particular state. So here next one is property. So it is a measurable characteristic of the system or substance. Examples temperature, density, pressure etc. So properties can be divided into two types extensive property, intensive property. Extensive property is the property which depends upon amount of substance. So which depends upon the mass or amount of a particular substance that property is extensive property example mass volume pressure internal energy and free energy similarly intensive property the property which doesn't depend upon the amount of substance present in the system so which doesn't depend on it that is independent of the amount of substance or mass of the substance. So examples temperature, density, viscosity, specific heat etc. So here we can see the thermodynamic properties are divided into intensive and extensive properties. So which is intensive means independent of the mass of the system and extensive dependent on the mass of the system. So some of the examples are given for both intensive and extensive property. So pressure, temperature, density, concentration etc. or intensive properties. Extensive enthalpy, entropy, internal energy or extensive properties. Next one is state function and path function. State function the thermodynamic property which depends upon initial and final state of the system and not on the means how the state is reached or state functions. So we have to consider only initial and final states but not on the means but not on the way of how the state is reached that is state function. So example E H S G or state functions. Next one is path function. So the property that depends on the path between the initial and final state is known as path function. So examples work on heat. So this depends on the path not on the initial and final state. Then that function is path function. So we can represent it in a simple diagram pressure versus volume. So you can see state function, it depends on only initial and final states, that is state 1, state 2. But to path functions, it depends upon the path of the system. So path 1, path 2 represent the path functions. Next one is homogeneous system and heterogeneous system. Homogeneous system, a system is homogeneous when it is completely uniform throughout that is it consists of one phase examples pure solid pure liquid and true solution heterogeneous system system is heterogeneous when it is not uniform throughout that means it consists of two or more phases examples we can see a solid which is in contact with a liquid a liquid in contact with its vapors so here we can see homogeneous mixture and the heterogeneous mixture homogeneous means it is completely uniform and it has only one phase heterogeneous not uniform and it consists of two or more phases next one is exothermic process endothermic process exothermic process the process in which heat is given out to the surroundings is called exothermic process so in this process the products are more stable than reactants because they have lower energy. So in this process heat will be released to the surroundings from the system. Then it is called exothermic process. 
next one is endothermic process the process in which heat will be absorbed by the system from the surroundings so in this process if you take a reaction products are less stable than reactants because they have higher energy so that can be represented in a diagram as so endothermic and exothermic process so endothermic it absorbs energy exothermic it releases energy so these are some of the terms in chemical engineering thermodynamics so this is the topic today if you like my video please subscribe my channel please like share and comment my videos thank you very much